uh, again, former Congressman Ron Paul joins us here today. What do you make of uh, the head of national intelligence, Clapper, uh, saying to Congress, we don't uh, gather data on Americans when it's on record they do. And then General Alexander, the head of uh, cybersecurity in the NSA, makes the same statement and then later admits that wasn't true either. But then they, he went to the Black Hat conference last week and repeated the lie again. I mean, it seems like a new level of deception. I'm going to play a few of those clips in a moment, but I'm sure you, you saw those in the last few weeks. What do you make of this? I try to understand it first, and I don't think it's a moral issue for them. If it becomes a moral issue, they reverse things and say they are morally responsible for taking care of you and being to protect us. They don't understand that their moral responsibility is to provide and protect our liberties. But they, they actually brainwash themselves into believing that they have an obligation to lie, the noble lie. You know, we're smart. People are stupid. We have to take care of them. I mean, the, the whole notion of welfareism is based on the fact that people won't take care of themselves, and it ends up as a monster because all, all sure. the corporations and the banks to get the benefits. So, yes, they, um, they believe them, them, themselves that this is true. So they are lying. And uh, the other reason I think you can expect these lies is when you have tyranny, it's based on, on lies. If you have truth tellers, it challenges the empire. And that is why they come down very, very hard on a whistleblower. They have to really make examples of them, even if what they have revealed has done no harm other than tell the American people. And then they turn around and they say, well, you know, uh, we got to punish them because they've turned this information over to our enemies. Well, you know, Snowden and Manning turned the information over to the American people. So I guess there's some people in our government that think we're the enemy and, uh, and not uh, some other country. Absolutely. I mean, if people claim they're Americans, constitutionalists, and, and they support our system that's been proven to be the best one out there historically, hands down, then you know that tyrants try to spy on you in the name of your security, but it always ends up turning into an oppressive tyranny, generally by design, but it always, regardless, even with good intentions, goes bad. And then now they turn it around, we've got to violate your rights, our responsibility uh, you know, is to take uh, your freedoms away, and how dare you try to keep us from protecting you, and then an incredibly transparent uh, you know, fake terror alert. Uh, even Governor Ridge admitted in his book a few years ago that under Bush they would issue fake terror alerts. In, in, in case listeners didn't hear this, here's Clapper and then Alexander, his counterpart, uh, saying they don't spy on the American people. Uh, here it is. Give me a yes or no answer to the question. Does the NSA collect any type of data at all on millions or hundreds of millions of Americans? No, sir. It does not. Not witty. Catherine Harris, Fox News Channel. Thanks for taking my question. Will the Utah Data Center hold the data of American citizens? No. All right, that's enough. Part one. <laughs> Going well, back to uh, Ron Paul, uh, Doctor, I, I mean, this is ridiculous. Did, did you watch them on TV when they were saying that? If you know, you don't have to be a, an expert uh, psychiatrist to look at them and, and look at their faces and their eyes. You could tell they were lying through their teeth. <laughs> it looks like when my children, they don't do it much, but I've caught them lying about stealing <laughs> cookies. It looks exactly like when my daughters uh, eat all the cookies and lie about it. Yeah, I, th I think that, that is, they, they knew darn well, but once again, uh, lying for them if you can get away with it. I guess they get, they've gone away with it for so long. Just think how many wars have been fought over lies, you know, how they maneuver us into war. WMDs, uh, all of it. And so if they, if they can do that and lose no sleep over it, you know, telling a little lie here and there about how much uh, spying they're doing, they probably consider these minor laws and minor lies compared to what they've been, we've been told in the past. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show. <laughs>